DEXA scans are not just for looking at bone health and osteoporosis anymore. DEXA scans should be part of an anti-aging health and longevity program. Let's just look at three things that are integral in terms of maintaining your health span, your healthy life, and potentially living longer. So here are those three things why we're doing it. Number one, we're looking at it to determine your visceral fat. That's the fat around your organs. We know that there's a link between visceral fat and Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, weight gain and obesity, as well as other medical issues. Number two, we're looking at muscle mass. Muscle mass has been linked to general health and longevity. We know the more muscle you have, the greater likelihood of living longer and having a better and healthier life. We know that it produces chemicals called myokines and exokines. These help in terms of brain health, they help in terms of energy, they're gonna help decrease inflammation, do many other beneficial things for our bodies. Number three, we're looking at it in terms of our fat around our bodies. We measure that in different ways. We're looking at just the fat percentages. We're also looking at one of the simple measures you can do on yourself, which is called your waist hip ratio. We're looking at that to help evaluate your body fat makeup and content. We want the AG ratio in women to be under 0.8. If it's above that, then we are concerned and that is an increase in fat overall. And we wanna use fat treatments that are gonna help both lower the, the body fat overall as well as lower your visceral fat. How do we lower visceral fat? We lower the visceral fat by doing multiple different things. We, A, we're gonna do lab testing to look at your hormones. Are you estrogen dominant? Do you have too much estrogen? Do you have low progesterone? Is your, are you what we call insulin resistant? Are you not, we're gonna look at your workout. Are you not doing enough resistance training or weight training? Are you just doing too much cardio? Is there stress involved? Are you exposed to a toxin? All these different things can be involved to having a greater amount of visceral fat. And then the techniques start by just improving those lab levels, removing any toxins, and then going from there. Then we can do certain medications DHA may help reduce visceral fat. Some of the peptides, like semi ozempic or Mondrel, may actually decrease visceral fat. There are some procedures that can be done to help lower visceral fat. All these things can be done to help improve the numbers, and we do our screenings every six months to evaluate where your visceral fat numbers are. We're looking at the android gynoid ratio, as well as we're looking at your VAT mass in centimeters, it's usually on that bottom of the sheet that you're gonna get. We're looking for your VAT in centimeters to usually be under 100. That is a sign that your visceral fat is normal and where it should be, and we don't have, we have very limited concern on what you should be. We want your body fat to be under 20%, optimally under 15, around 15%, and that is where we're looking at. If the numbers consistently are, you have 30, 40% body fat based on your measurements, then we are gonna do measures to help decrease the fat mass as well. We're looking at your muscle mass, we're looking at your fat generalized, we're looking at your fat around your organs, and taking those readings and developing a comprehensive plan from lab work, to supplements, to your exercise routine, which is probably the most important thing, to sleep, to stress management. All that plays a part into what the numbers that we're seeing on the DEXA scan. Then the other part of the conversation is always DEXA scan versus all these other scans that, that these wellness facilities have. There's data showing that they're just not as accurate. In body, 3D viewing, it's available to you. It's a screening tool and you can definitely measure if you're at a 20% one time and a 15% the next time, then you know you're getting better. But we find almost all the time that patients who do in body and other scans and then get an official DEXA scan, the numbers on the DEXA scan are usually worse meaning that they're, this is not an accurate depiction. There are studies that show that those other tests are not as accurate as what we're seeing when we're doing a DEXA scan. Again, it's a good guy, but not something that you wanna go by. So here's, what you're, here's a summary. Do your DEXA scan at least once a year, optimally every six months. Look at your VAT, which is your visceral adipose tissue. You're gonna look at your general body fat. You're going to look at your AG ratio. You're gonna look at your muscle mass. Those are the things, do not look at BMI. Body mass index is not indicative of much anymore. It's just a very, very broad mark at this point. But again, look, make, sure you're, make sure you're getting a DEXA scan done. It's just very important.